Hey, what's up? Welcome to my kitchen. It's your favorite cook, Kirby. Today, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and a first impressions on my new Instant Pot. Now, this is the IP Duo 80 version two. Now, I've been looking for a new toy that does everything. I wanted, I was looking at the pressure cooker. I used to have a, a pressure cooker pan back in the day and it cooked really well. I used to fry chicken in it and it did well. I'm not sure if I could do fried chicken, so don't quote me on that part. But uh, yeah, I was looking at a rice cooker and another slow cooker. So I seen this and I said, you know what? That's probably something I can use. So yeah, so I picked it up. Uh, let's get down into the features and what it looks like and everything that comes with it. All right, so nice sleek boxing here. As you can see, I'm not, I don't really care about boxing. I just care about what's inside of it. But if you are interested in, in cool boxing, I mean, yeah, it tells you pretty much everything it does. The sautés, uh, you can make yogurt, which I'm gonna have to dab into that later on. Uh, pressure cooking, food warming, steaming, rice cooking. That's one of the reasons I wanna make sushi, rice out of this, and then slow cooker. I use my slow, uh, my slow cooker or crock pot every now and then. Same thing as you've seen on the other side. Uh, and then this pretty much gives you everything, what it looks like. So it looks like pretty much everything that you see here is what comes up in the box. So no further ado, let's open it up. Instructions and probably how to, which I'll get into this in a little bit. All right, looks very simple. Pretty sure you might have all your accessories in here. Just a little rack. I'm guessing you can do a bunch of other stuff. I've seen actually people actually baking on these and doing all kinds of stuff. So that's what this tool right here would be. Uh, that way you can put like your little pots and stuff and uh, we'll get to this later. And it looks like a uh, some multi-purpose spatulas, um, little soup spatula. I'm guessing like a rice paddle or saute paddle that you can, that this comes with. Pretty cool. Not sure what this is to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look, see what this is. And then a measuring cup. So if you don't have a measuring cup, well, it comes with, uh, I guess, one cup measuring cup, as you can see there, three quarters, half, quarter. So it comes with a measuring cup. All right, then you got your pot. Nothing else after that. So this is your big pot. Like I said, this is the eight quart. So uh, you can actually do a pretty decent sized soup or chili. You know, or, or you know, decent sized cook. And then the lid. Screws on one way, one specific way. Oh, close it. Open. As you can tell, you got the open and close. Cl open is uh to the right. Close is to the left. Top of the lid. This is where your pressure cooking comes from. Uh, if you were to leave this open, it'll it'll vent out and it'll be kind of like a crock pot or slow cooker or something like that. Um, if you actually seal this, basically what's gonna happen is gonna allow that pressure to build up. And this little thing right here, basically once it builds enough pressure, this thing's gonna close up and that, that allows the pressure cooking. Um, be really careful on this uh, once you do get it hot uh, because this is gonna let out a lot of those steam, that hot steam. And trust me, I've been burned with a pressure cooker before it does burn. So be really careful when you're cooking on this and you release that, that pressure because that's just gonna start spraying out all the steam. All right, so the, the, 
display plate has got a little clicky button here. I know there's people that are OCD on having clicky buttons. This has a decent clicky buttons in the front. Uh, like I said, this is a multi-purpose use, so you can use this for, you know, cooking soups. Uh, you can make stews, uh, beans, you know, things like that. Uh, you can actually cook whole food, like like a, like a chicken, or I've seen people do ribs in here. Um, slow cooker uh, option, the rice steamer here, multi-grain, different things. You know, I, I, I'm gonna be going and learning all this stuff. I know this probably at this point, this is what the the information that you're looking for. But the owner's manual has all the information in there and I'm going to read the whole thing and actually put it to use piece by piece and that way you can actually gain recipes and knowledge on and gain that data that you're looking for. All right, so the owner's manual, I'm gonna go over this whole thing, uh, how to use it, uh, what to cook on it and see what each little, little feature does learn the temperatures and that's the main thing when you get these type of units you want to learn the temperatures on it you know what it cooks at and stuff like that ah okay this right here is I guess it's steam cup the little plastic thing that I was talking about earlier well I guess this is like your steam your your drip cup so there's a little little slot right here so basically you just take this and it's right in the back of the uh, pressure cooker. I'd be really careful with this because all this is is just plastic. So if you break this, you got, I'm, I'm most likely you got water dripping from this little exhaust valve here. So be really careful uh, with this plastic thing. Like I said, it's just cheap little plastic. I mean, this this will crack really easy. So just be really careful with this part. The most important thing to me is the recipe book. I mean, this is this is what's gonna basically teach you how to use your, your devices, you know, like my air fryer and a couple other devices. You know, I read these recipe books and it allowed me to get familiar with the device. I mean, it, it, it tells you right there basically how to do it and, and it comes out really easy. And uh, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, some of these recipes actually look good. Uh, Let's see, cilantro, lime, chicken, taco salad. I might have to touch that. One minute quina, quina. Let's see, uh, yeah. Definitely gonna be uh, trying some of these uh, recipes out. You know, it's always good to, to read these so that way you can get a learning of, you know. And, and one of the things I just showed it, classic mashed potatoes. That is, the <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I bought it also is because that way I could cook potatoes faster. Yeah, definitely I'm gonna be doing a lot of recipes out of this uh, booklet. So yeah, if you have one already, just start going over this and just start learning how to use it. And, and trust me, the more you start uh, using something and it allows you to practice on how to cook with it. So you, come, you become more familiar with it. Okay, so the, setup, the startup guide, it tells you to do initial test to make sure that everything's working properly. So what I'm gonna do is, before I do that test, is I'm gonna go ahead and take out that bowl, clean up the lid and the bowl. So, be back. All right, so I got our little pot here cleaned up and I put a couple quarts of water in there. So the reason why we're gonna be doing the initial test is just to make sure that everything works properly. Uh, just in case there's any issues with the liner and all that stuff and the sealant, that way you can address it beforehand. So for this initial test, as I showed you earlier about the lid, the open and close, uh, for the, the lid, we're gonna be having it sealed. So you wanna put it in the sealed position. Okay, so for our initial test run, we're gonna just hit our steam button, then we're gonna select two minutes, and then we don't have to do nothing else after that. It'll start up on its own. You'll hear a beep once it gets started. As you see there. Now it's quiet compared to like using my air fryer. Like it's weird not hearing a fan or something going. But uh, it's on, it says it's on. I can actually hear it heating up. So yeah, really quiet. I dig that part. That's pretty cool. 
Preheating depends on how much you have in there. Uh, it does say in the manual that it can be 20 to 30 minutes, but like I said, it depends on how much stuff is in there. Um, also, you know, water level. So it says it can heat it up in 10 minutes, but you know, like I said, if you have a full pot, well guess what, it looks like you're looking a little bit longer of uh, preheat time, so. All right, it's been about 15 minutes and I can really hear it, you know, going. Um, hasn't got to the point where it's pressure cooking, because it's still loose. Uh, usually in the back here, there would be a the little knob would be up, but it's generating the steam and uh, you know, it's just one of those things where you just gotta let it take its do it, you know, take its time and uh, uh, get to the temperature, and then it starts cooking. So, uh, yeah, to preheat, it does take quite a bit from what I'm seeing. So uh, maybe in the different modes, it might be different. But just for uh, steam, which they tell you to test it out in steam, um, you're looking 20 to 30 minutes just to preheat it. Okay, so that little knob I was talking about earlier, where you slide it through. Well, once that's uh, popped up, that means you, you've already got the pressure built up in there. All right, once it's done preheating, then it'll give you the actual reading of your time that it's gonna be cooking. So right now it's in the steam mode and actually cooking. It's already up to temperature. So it does take quite a bit just to preheat, so keep that in mind. If you're gonna be cooking something, it's not gonna be a fast cook uh, because it does need to preheat. I'm not sure about the other features like the saute and other things, so I will test all that stuff out in future videos. Uh, but uh, so far in steam, if you're gonna be steaming something, it takes 20 to 30 minutes just to preheat. Okay, once, once your cooking time is done, it'll notify you and let you know that it's done. Uh, not sure if there's uh, other features there to keep it warm. But now we're gonna release the pressure so that we can show you how to release the pressure and not get hurt. There you go. Move it to the side and it'll release the pressure off of you. Be really careful and do not put your hand in that area because that steam is extremely hot. Uh, the last time I burnt myself uh, using a one that a stove top pressure cooker, uh, it left a pretty good mark and it burnt for a couple days. So just be really careful. You want the pressure to go all the way out, and you'll know that by this little knob right here will go down. Uh, once it's down, it has no more pressure. As you can see, it's not as loud. All right, as you can see right here, the knob went down. Uh, that was probably after about five to six maybe seven minutes of uh, letting the steam out uh, but yeah it takes a while so but be very careful let all the pressure get out of it before you open up your pressure cooker and then you open it up and if you had food in there you'd be rocking and rolling but that is some steaming water there and uh, it seems like my pressure cooker is working properly well that's what my new instant pot looks like I hope that kind of shows you pretty much what I was looking for. Um, if you're interested in Instant Pot, I have a link down in the description. Uh, these are very inexpensive, a little over $100, and they do so much. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of cooking on this before I actually do my initial uh, product review. So that way I can learn how to use it first, and then that way when I do the review, uh, you'll have all the information on how to use it. So if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that way you can catch those future recipes and that future re uh, review. If you have any questions or something you want to talk about this product, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. And while you're at it, smash that like button. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.